Pinterest was launched in March 2010. It was co-founded by Ben Silverman along with a small group of entrepreneurs and inventors. When Pinterest first launched, users could only join by being invited, making this site somewhat exclusive, but now Pinterest is open to all internet users. According to Ben Silverman, the focus of Pinterest is on helping millions of people discover things they love and get inspiration to go and do those things in their life. Pinterest is a social media site that allows users to pin images they find online to a virtual pin board and share them with others. Today, Pinterest can be accessed through Facebook, Instagram, and any electronic device that the app can be downloaded on. Most recently, Pinterest activity rose to its highest in January and February of 2012. They continue to add more categories to bring in other audiences to appeal to, like the most recent edition of travel agencies and vacation locations. Pinterest is ranked the third most popular social media site, attracting 15% of adult online users, with only Facebook and Twitter exceeding that. Women, adults under 50, and people who have college educations are the three audiences that use the site the most. Women are 5 to 25% more likely to use Pinterest than men. People from age ranges of 15 to 29 and 39 to 49 are all equally as likely to use Pinterest. California and Texas are the two states that Pinterest is most popular in. However, overall, it is most popular in the rural Midwest, Northwest, and Southeast. One third of users have an average household income of over $100,000. Pinterest currently holds a strong market in social media because they are image-oriented and it allows their audiences to visualize multipliers. It has been named the hottest social media startup since Facebook and YouTube. Ever since Pinterest was launched, it has continued to reach specific factors which have allowed it to stay popular. The first factor being the secret sauce is a combination of timing and image boom. Timing, Pinterest started to make waves six months ago and is now on par with as many unique views monthly as Tumblr. At the recent SXSW, the CEO announced new profile pages and that along with tons of brands and even soccer clubs like Liverpool are now joining in. Image boom. Images tell a thousand words. Instagram started the craze and Pinterest is what Instagram would look like if Instagram had a legitimate desktop presence. Pinterest had an initial boom, however the current reality is that although they are still the highest ranked, if they do not, if they do not continue to generate more activity, they have the possibility of losing their market share. Pinterest does have the opportunity to start appealing to men more to gain even more of a market share. 83% of global users are women, however in Britain, 56% of the users are men. There are sites like Pinterest that have a similar purchase and are targeted towards men. Examples of some of these are We Heart It, Visualize Us, Mantrasting, Dude Pins, Punch Pins, and several others. Different content like guns, cars, food, girls, sports clothes, and shoes can all be found on these websites. Now Pinterest must continue to be innovative and make changes to increase users while keeping their current audience intact. Current modifications, removals, and additions are being implemented like larger pins, the category section has been changed, the comment button has been removed, and more options when you expand pins, and even the method settings have been organized and changed. Finally, the biggest addition to the site has been an analytics section for social marketing. Companies and organizations that utilize Pinterest through images to market their products now have the opportunity to see real results of the activity that is happening on the site. It breaks down the activity to your business website by viewing the number of everyday pins and pinners from your website, the number of everyday repins and repinners, and even the number of times you were pinned and much more. With just the addition of the analytics section, Pinterest can now push this effort to be huge in the future of keeping their market share. With this aspect, more businesses will invest to advertise through them, which will not only increase their revenue, but increase their amount of users.
One of the main reasons Pinterest has been so successful is because they have mastered the basics of being clear and easy, and in result, this has allowed them to become popular. Pinterest's secret weapon is the simplicity of its design, which allows for excessive scrolling of content with minimal effort and minimal distraction. Perhaps in an effort to mesmerize users, images take up the majority of space with comments and repins kept neatly tucked under each image. All action buttons remain hidden until they are scrolled over. The images take center stage, the information is sleek and icon free, and comments are minimal and stacked. Furthermore, from the app to the browser plugin, the user constantly has access to Pinterest. Unlike Facebook or Twitter, you don't have to access the website to post content. So no matter what web website you are surfing, Pinterest is always there. One reason Pinterest is so popular is because it allows users to become social media famous. All new pins are placed on the front page. Pinterest will also use your Facebook to find your friends automatically, expanding your follower count and encouraging repinning. Lastly, Pinterest gives users the confidence to actually do the things they see online. Anyone who has perused an image board has had the desire to, more, to be more creative. Users return again and again to Pinterest because the thought of trying something new offers an element of excitement. Pinterest gives us that I can do that mentality.